Welcome back, America. It's a great honor to have <coughs> Governor Christy Nome here. The first time on this program, uh, the second time I've ever interviewed her, once on radio and now. You have a fantastic new book out that I've read, Not My First Rodeo, Lessons from the Heartland. Christy Nome, you're considered one of the great governors in this country. Uh, it's a small state, and yet you're one of the standout governors. Why do you think that is? Well, Mark, I think it depends on who you talk to, but I will tell you that our people in South Dakota are incredibly happy, and I would say it's because they're free. You know, we've seen incredible changes in our country the last several years. We've watched the media use fear to control people, and the left uh, use fear to promote an agenda that's fundamentally remaking the America that we live with each and every day. So throughout this pandemic in South Dakota, I made very different decisions than most of the other governors. Uh, we never did any mandates, never once shut down any businesses or said people couldn't have gatherings, uh, never once even defined what an essential business was, told people we would trust them based on what authority I had under the Constitution and didn't grab other authority that I did not have. And we're seeing the results of that in South Dakota. So it's it's interesting when you look from state to state uh, and see how they're doing today. We're leading the country with our economy. Our kids are outperforming kids in every other state in educational outcomes. I have less than 700 people in South Dakota that are on unemployment today uh, because when the president offered those elevated unemployment benefits, we were the only state that said, no, thank you. Our people want to work. So, you know, it's, it's an experiment in what our founders envisioned this country would look like in South Dakota. We actually did it. And now I think it's bringing hope to the rest of the country. We've got people moving to South Dakota in record numbers, and they're moving there because they want to be like us. You see, uh, hey, Governor Hoko, you better be listening.